Hey, hey, hey. So I'm back in Art Valley and just rolled Orcsbane. But since my altar is full, I needed to open a slot. So I had the fun time of HPM sweeping Siren up to 179 real fast. And I will. I will. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. And I'll get this. Actually, you know what? It actually, it's better just to give them all the greens. So. I will get this siren up to 180. And with that. Oh, I don't even have the gold. I don't even have the gold. Now I gotta waste my time. Just quickly. Oh, technically I can just put them all down. Doesn't matter which order, since all I do is HBM sweep. I just need my trusty team in there. Okay, I need to get five million gold. So I can evolve not evolve. Ten star my hero. There we go. And let's do we'll start right here. I want to 10 star it so I can evolve my siren. I can't believe I'm evolving my siren, but it seems like the best option for my my team um, to progress in HBM. I think that's probably one of the best ways to increase my damage with the team I have. I probably could use Ares and I probably could evolve Ares, so I'll see. Um, it's more of a this is literally going to be, I said I was going to roll the gems and then whatever happens, whatever happens. And if nothing really happened, I would do my siren. I would 10 star my siren, evolve my siren, and then um, I'll go from there. And since I'm going to try to push for T, I don't think I'm going to keep my green and blue heroes in. Um, anymore just until I beat T. And then once I beat T, I'll put them back in just to grind away at those levels. Since who knows if they ever bring in a new HBM. Like if it goes past challenge, you know, it could be challenge 3. It'll go up to Z. So might as well keep those green guys in there. I mean, keep them around. I'm um, just... Ugh. Okay, so I got really, really close to 5 million gold. I was trying to just... I was trying to f talk into what might happen in the future with HBM. So that's why I'm not going to get rid of my blues and greens. I'll just let them sit there until I can beat HBM which hopefully I will be able to but we'll see I gotta push I think that's the best way now I just gotta keep pushing that's enough gold let's buy the gold and now we're going to 10 star siren and you want it to give it some experience points get that book so now I'm going to I'll have to change the next time I get a quest refresh board no matter what I'll be changing its talent since I just wanted to keep the talent until I got to 180 to evolve it so Ooh, I gotta click that and I got to buy one of these so now my 10 star siren, dun dun dun, we will click, definitely want to use that backup. So I'm at 139, 139,000, might, let's see this thing drop like crazy, oh my god, 3,000 might, 3,000 freaking might, insane, but, 
Look at that. Let us see this beauty. I can't believe I evolved the siren. <laughs> oh, that is classic awesomeness. Actually, that is actually pretty cool. Kind of looks like this. Kind of looks like that. Eh. Kind of, but maybe not. Let's put it back into its normal spot. And now let's do, 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 let's see here. Now I got to, oh my God, this is the crazy part. I have to level this thing back up. I have to go all the way back up to about 140. That's approximately when it's 180 version is the evolve version just better hit points and attack so about 140 is when both of those get better I think 120 is when HP is even but I'm gonna go to 140 cuz I think that's the best choice to push on to T so let's boom I'm kinda oh my god another gold problem which is kind of funny. I would not have. I would totally have forgot about that. So we get to see the new improved siren in action. Hopefully this person. Hopefully, oh my god I'm going to lose. Because that freaking Skull Knight dude. Skull Knight has become so. Um, the base. When he gets into the base. And sometimes. I've gotten destroyed by not throwing a storm, snowstorm down on a Skull Knight sometimes when it has a 5 5 rewrite and I don't see it. Oh, I've seen him just roll through my team multiple times. It's crazy. Super awesome. Super awesome to have him in a base. Um, I think it's great. I think it's pretty hilarious to have him in a defensive base. Um, and with people not I'd love to see replays of people just getting worked because I've gotten worked and I've just been like what but I don't know if this siren evolves going to pay off but I needed that I need that open space for the quest board because you need one so just in case you get those slimes from building the quest board so that kind of sucks how you can't put it into the you can't put it into the warehouse, but whatever. So I have one more, one more spot. But I can't believe I dropped that much. Three thousand might. That is just. That's a lot. That's a lot of might to drop. Okay, let's earn some more XP. What will get me up there fast? Oh, that will get me up fast. Come on, there we go. Trying to just maximize the possible XP bucks. Damn, that's a lot of a lot of lot of honor badges going down. Alright. I still have to do let's pump how many bucks does this cost? Oh that doesn't that it's not too bad. Actually I'll pump this up. To 11 and let's see how many of these books oh perfect and we can drop some of these and use some of these that's what I like to see and now let's gonna upgrade it again and now siren has 4500 attack 54,000 hit points plus 40,000 hit points almost a hundred thousand hit points not bad and I said I was gonna get him up to 7 of 10 so let's get him up to 7 Ooh, I'm gonna have to use a lot more than I thought it's okay though so he is now boom 7 of 10 an evolved siren 
Evolved Siren, 7 of 10. Bam. That is dope. That is dope. Well, let's... I'll just do form team. Hopefully my siren can do something. Let's see if I should put... I wonder if I should switch more teams around. Because I don't think my siren's going to actually do anything. Maybe put them in the front. And then I'm going to put... I definitely going to take change this team around. I'm definitely going to put my Oryx Bane right there instead of the Paladin. I think that would be more... <laughs> I don't think the Paladin is going to do much on this team. I think an Oryx Bane will be a lot more effective. This team actually might win more instead of just being the pawn. So let's take on... Oh, f damn. I don't want to refresh. I just want to just test this out. Come on. This is going to be... Dang it. This might be a little too easy. Darn. I actually could put Siren on this team and move my ninja off. Ooh, I actually might lose. This is actually a good test. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. It did proc... It did hit these guys, but I my other team was just too weak to actually do anything. My team should just blow past this. That stun is so nice. On this team, this champion has such a nice stun. So I can't really show it off right there. I mean, I guess I could do Expedition and show off the power. Or I could just do this. And hopefully... It will do something. Do, do, do. Let's do this. Oh. Let's not do that. Let's do that. Let's see if my siren can proc. Oh, no. I don't know what the freak I was doing. I wasn't even really paying attention. I don't know why I was clicking all over the place. Okay. Let's do this again. Let's put my siren right there and hopefully it procs and does something where I can see it's increased super damage should it, it should add another target but the damage should be way increased man it's just hitting buildings though it's not really hitting heroes like I want it to I just want to see it try to one-shot things. Nah. I mean, it did hit a big chunk of Skull Knight, but Siren's too wild. The cone is too... Wow, I went backwards, too. I mean, it, does, it zaps pretty well. I definitely will have to... So I don't lose this. There we go. Um, I'll definitely have to test it out in HBM. I'll probably have to watch an HBM. Actually, let's just do that now. What's this one? This one's Druid. What's this one? No, that has to be Pumpkin Duke. What's the front one? No, let's make that Cupid. This needs to be War... No. It needs to be Warlock. This needs to be Flatastic. That's Siren, and that is Pumpkin Duke. So, let's... There we go, I'll claim that. Let's let's actually try. I'm actually lose T, but um Ah, should I try T or should I just try S? I just kinda wanna see um Siren in action. I'm just gonna do S. Hopefully I win S. Hopefully I win S. I don't usually now with sweeps it's great, but I just wanna see Siren. I want to see this new this new bad boy in action. I have no garrisons um, just because I was HBM sweeping. It's not like these things are going to actually do much. It had such little health anyways. It, the only thing I would affect is the stunning back here, but 
after by the fir third wave, all these are done. So I only have to really worry about the first two waves. By then, all the towers will be done by then. Or destroyed, I guess. I guess is the better word. And then I could just focus on the damage output Siren is putting out. Oh, come on, Vlad. We need you to proc right here, baby. Boom. There we go. There we go. There we go. Phew. I didn't want Ares to proc. Uh, not Ares. Uh, Atlantic Quarter proc. Because that would have been bad. That's another thing I do. I probably should just... I can't believe I don't have an Atlantic Core. Jeez. Still another no Atlantic Core. I could buy him, but... I still want the... the opportunity to roll him. I think that's... I think that's fair. Or at least I want it to be fair. S3 is looking good. Where's the other one coming from? That's good, because I actually want to just see Siren in action. I don't care about this side. I just want to see Siren proc and do some serious damage. Okay, there we go. It actually does what I think it was going to do. It's actually kind of one-shotting these guys. And if it's all... Did my Siren die? No. I was going to say, I couldn't see him for a second. I was like, man, did my Siren die? No, my Pumpkin Duke's almost dead. If I don't get a heal... Come on, heal my Pumpkin Duke. There we go. And there goes my Pumpkin Duke. So something must have procced. Reaper must have procced and taken out my Pumpkin Duke for the second time? It could have been for a second time. I don't know. I didn't really see my Pumpkin Duke die the first time. Unless he went... Unless that's his tombstone from the first time he died. Well, this is not looking good. With no Pumpkin Duke, you practically cannot beat S5. Unless you probably have a super insane team. And I don't know if I have a super insane team to beat S5 without a Pumpkin Duke. Because I'm barely... Barely, barely, barely... Killing that dude. And I lost my Cupid, so it's over. I tried. I tried. I just wanted to test out Siren, but I might have more than enough to to watch and just see. It's more just testing. I had to open up a free space and might as well do Siren. Yeah. Wow. Poor Pumpkin Duke. Hmm. Fail. God damn it, Pumpkin Duke. Just stay alive. You have so much health. Well, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to open a spot up for my quest board, and I use Siren more and more every day. So, my next guy will probably be Ares, and um, I'll just start evolving heroes. Um, I'm feeling like that should be my next little thing, and just start evolving these heroes. And I can slow evo slowly level them up. So that's not too bad. So, I think that's it. Evolved, 7, Siren. Most people probably will never ever do this. Um, but I did. And it sits right there on my base. What a crazy, crazy person. Insanity. Boom. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.